betrayal. Hello comrades, I'm the Sirini Plagat. We have a despicable display of heresy from one who has betrayed his comrades. And yes, the person I'm going to talk about is Russian. Now, if the dude sees this video, he's probably going to think I'm a capitalist pig, but I like to think I'm the middle ground between East and West. Like, Australia is commonly referred to as a Western nation, but look at that geography. I'm middle ground, so I get to speak for both East and West, just like the Lorax spoke for the trees. Anyways, we've got this guy, whose username on Google Translate well... Translates to Sasha Goldstein, probably the English version of his name, but that's irrelevant. He's got an incredibly lazy video where he tries to make a cheap shot for the real reason Russia loves the Star Wars prequels. And of course, he doesn't consider the nuances I had in my own video about Russia loving the Star Wars prequels. It was very bare bones. Now, if you don't understand Russian accents that well, I'm sorry. But hopefully by hearing me talk, you'll get the gist of what he's saying. Salut, comrade! My name is Sasha Goldstein and I'm 100% of a geek. I've been talking a lot to my Russian audience about Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Witcher and many other fantasy worlds. Oh, I bet. But today I want to share with my people abroad Russian love for Star Wars prequels and explain why this happened. But how accurate will that be? Yeah! I wonder! I know this terrible time it's the last thing you'd like to know about Russians, but let me get this straight. I'm no politician, I'm a geek, so I speak about geek stuff. Deal with it. I still don't think it excuses the betrayal of your own country. So many people out there in the US, UK and many other countries find it very weird that we love prequels more than any other Star Wars content. Not me. You're on the right track because of fortunate circumstances I'll talk about in a bit. We love it more than original trilogy, more than sequels, and sometimes more than even the Old Republic era. You know, I'm very curious of how the High Republic fared in Russia. Does it exist there? Is it censored? And so on. And by saying we, I don't mean myself exactly. My favorite content in Star Wars franchise is the Old Republic era. Fair. KOTOR for life, bitch. And I have a lot of questions for a prequel trilogy. But for the movies, I have no questions, only for three of them. It's uh, New Hope, Empire Strikes Back and Rogue One. And no, this content is not sponsored by Disney. Spoiler alert, it is. But I'm actually open. <laughs> Miss Katie, text me please. I'm the one you need. I was protecting the last Jedi. I'm the one you need in Disney. I'm waiting, Miss Katie. I'm waiting. Anyway, many of my Russian friends do not think that way. When you try to criticize those prequel films, acting in them, plot holes, and try to say literally anything bad about Hayden Christensen, the only thing you get is hate and curses in the comments. Get what you fucking deserve! Our Star Wars discourse is far from yours. Here, the mainstream point of view is that the prequels are amazing movies, best vision of Star Wars ever given, and George Lucas is a freaking god that fought against the capitalists and their standards in Hollywood. <laughs> Some insane guys, we like to call them Shizi in Russian, are even saying that Lucas was fighting against modern trends like feminism, gender theory and even anti-racism. Yes, lots of Russians are pretty conservative, uh, more conservative than you think. You know, on top of the stereotypical accent this guy has, I'm not quite sure whether or not you're telling the truth. You're stereotyping your own country. And to crown it all, they say that Lucas wasn't doing anything just to get more money. I think you're taking their words far too literally. I'm sure they meant for the most part. But I know the exact reason why Russians love these movies. And that's dubbing. Dubbing? Uh-oh. Now I know this guy is out of touch and riffing on other people's opinions. How dare you sever ties with your Soviet connection. <laughs> By the way, this video I guess will help lots of you to understand the importance of the sound in live and on-screen performance. Like seriously, listen to this. Oh, you know, master, I couldn't find a spider that I really liked. Oh, понимаете, учитель, я все искал подходящий спайдер. It's all Obi-Wan's fault. He's jealous. He's holding me back. 
Это Оби-Ван виноват. Он завидует и не дает мне воли. So Ты так хороша. No. No, it's because I'm so in love with you. Нет, <laughs> нет, я сильнее в тебя влюблен. How can you do this? This is outrageous. It's unfair. Да как вы можете? Это возмутительно. Это несправедливо. How can you be on the council and not be a master? Нельзя быть в составе совета без звания магистра. You're asking me to do something against the Jedi Code, against the Republic. Against a mentor and a friend, that's what's out of place here. То, о чем вы просите, противоречит кодексу джедаев. Пойти против республики, против наставника и друга. Вот что здесь не так. Very important mission. The separatists have gathered on the Mustafar system. Очень важное задание. Сепаратисты собрались в системе Мустафар. Don't make me kill you. Не вынуждай меня убивать тебя. If you're not with me, then you're my enemy. Если ты не со мной, значит ты мой враг. You underestimate my power. Ты недооцениваешь мою мощь. Do you hear it? None. Sounded pretty similar. Although someone pointed out in the comments of the dubbed Russian Star Wars video that Anakin's voice was a lot deeper. I just realized in another country this guy is basically a fan of Russian Matt Lanta. Come on, dude. I don't imagine Russians being that shallow. Russian dubbing saved us from Terrible Hayden Christensen acting. Also, I'm sure Russians aren't idiots who don't realize that Hayden Christensen is dubbed by a Russian voice actor. You want to know why they actually love Hayden? The visual and expressionist acting from him. People just look at lines he says out of context and it's fucking annoying. And I'm not talking about his skills, I'm pretty sure that's not his fault. That's the idea of George Lucas for a 23-year-old guy play a 19-year-old hero and act like a 13-year-old girl. You are more shallow than a kiddie pool. I think it was made like this for the young audience. You can look at Natalie Portman. She sounds like this too. You're a pilot? Mm-hmm. All my life. How long have you been here? <laughs> Thank you, R2. Not being able to visit the places you like or do the things you like. Thought that was forbidden for a Jedi. Whatever happened? I went into public service. He went on to become an artist. I'm a performance artist. Maybe he was the smart one. Something wonderful has happened. Annie, I'm pregnant. What are you gonna do? We're not gonna worry about anything right now. The only emotion when I hear this is like, uh, Oh, Mimi, what a young girl, what a sweet flower. But actually, we are speaking about 24-year-old woman. And uh, that's weird, actually. Have you ever heard of youthful energy or soft-spoken? Also, context. She's saying this to Anakin and not to another politician. And she's also talking about her past in the scene in the grass. Here's how it sounds in Russian and how it should be in English. Ты пилот? Угу. Всю мою жизнь. Ты давно здесь? Спасибо, Аргва. Ты не можешь ездить куда пожелаешь и делать что хочешь. Это не запрещено джедая. Ну и что дальше? Из меня вышел государственный служащий, а из него художник. Может, он поступил умнее? Случилось нечто чудесное. Энни, я беременна. Что же нам делать? Давай не будем сейчас об этом беспокоиться. Now that's how 24-year-old woman sounds like. Where's the context? For real. So imagine that you never really saw a Star Wars prequel trilogy in English and uh, know only about this amazing voice acting. That's the only thing you know about those movies. I think you will like them much more, even justifies their mistakes and scenario holes. What holes? Can you be specific? Or is this just a cheap shot to convince Russians and Westerners alike that prequel love is not genuine? And that happens only by changing the audio part for the better and more appropriate acting. Also, there's way more that goes into a film than just how the characters sound. There's music, cinematography, presentation, story, etc. All of those would stay the same in the Russian version. Literally the only change was the dubbing. And that changed 
everything. You look at Anakin Skywalker and do not see a 24 year old acting like he's 13. You see a young man with a strong voice and much more emotions and personalities than he had in an original movie. To any Russians watching, I am hoping that you do not have that impression on Anakin that this guy is claiming. And you see Hayden Christensen's other merits. You look at 24 year old Padme and see a politician with a 10 years of political background and that's uh, that almost fixes the movies. It cannot affect the plot, but it makes it much more friendly for the viewers. Where's the context? And I'm not talking only about Anakin and Padme. Our dubbing is freaking amazing in almost every aspect. The only characters that are a bit worse, in my opinion, is the Palpatine and Count Dooku, but only, only, only because of uh, an amazing acting in original movie. But they fixed Jar Jar. Not совсем. Моя забыть, что моя хозяева задавать страшной взбучкой, если моя вернутся. О, это совсем меня и дело. О, как грубо! Я считать королева жутко красивая. Что? У меня нету бумбума! For you to understand what Jar Jar is saying, it's like it's like a bit illiterate, not that Jamaican piece of trash you have in your version. Oh great, the Jar Jar's racist argument. This is how I can tell you're riffing off of Western audiences for this video. Because I highly doubt a Russian experience with the English language is shallow enough to go, Hey, that's a racist stereotype of a Jamaican. Because it isn't. Especially if they did their research and saw that it was Ahmed Best who came up with Jar Jar's speech voice and mannerisms. I have good English, which you may not hear in this video because of my bad pronunciation, but I will show you my Trump impression in the end. But I can't figure out a freaking single word when Jar Jar is talking. An alien not fluent in English is bad and racist and pretending you can't understand him? Tick. Кстати, русские, если вы еще смотрите, напишите вообще хоть слово, поняли, что он сказал в оригинале? Mine's been banished. Mine's forgotten. The brushes would do terrible things to me. Terrible things to me if me going back there. Your support is well seen. How woo! The queens are being grossly nice, Mr. Tings. So no have a booba! The only character in my opinion that is bad is Yoda. <laughs> I, nah, that, that, that was bad. Actually, Yoda is bad, but not because he isn't done well, he is. But in our dubbing, he doesn't have that Yoda voice thing that I tried to impress. Uh, he sounds more like Dumbledore. Listen. And that's funny, because in original, he has it. Around the survivors! A perimeter create! No shit, the English version is the original voice. I highly recommend everyone to find a Russian version of prequel trilogy and re-watch it with English subs. Because I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. I already like the English version though. Maybe you will even start to say that George Lucas isn't a capitalist bastard. Second reason is the time when it came out. For you to understand, in the USSR our people didn't have the opportunity to watch the original trilogy at all, except one festival where New Hope was played once in 1988. Thank God! And then they could watch Star Wars the way they're supposed to, by seeing the prequels first, and they don't have that stupid mentality of what came first, is watched first because that's not how the prequels were designed. After that we had terrible libertarian hell in the 90s and no one was into movies actually. The thing we all have been focused on was survival. And only in the beginning of the 21st century we as a kids finally got the time and opportunity to find out Star Wars Saga for ourselves. You know, every single prequel hater looks at the proper watch order with the mentality that the prequels mask themselves compared to the OT when watched first, when the actual mentality you should have is given the prequels were made for a new generation, George also wanted the next generation to be caught up with the story, so when they went on to watch the original trilogy, they could get a full grasp of the story, and get that sufficient payoff from seeing six movies straight. And what did we get? We got an amazing dubbing and amazing pictures of those movies. So we got into the Star Wars at that exact moment we watched the originals later. And that's why we love prequels more than original trilogy. Or maybe they watched 
it in the way they were supposed to, and the prequels have a more fleshed out story. And when sequels came, many of us had no idea why new movies are trying to look like the old ass classics that we like less. Press X to doubt. I don't imagine Russian fans being that shallow. You cannot even imagine the scale of hatred for these projects. And at the same time, when your bloggers in your countries could say that seventh episode is not bad, in our country it was like a media suicide in seconds. And when eighth came out, you do, need, do, do not even try to say that there are even one or two good uh, moments in this episode. You, you, you will be cancelled. And cancel they shall continue to do. Russians do not like sequels. Russian will give you a gun in your head. <laughs> in your head. Huh. I wonder why. As a user in Garam's comment section who was Russian pointed out, Russia hates the sequels for the same reason we all do. They're corporate made movies. Remember that many Russians are conservative as hell and hated the movies because a black person and a girl are the main characters. Good to know forced diversity isn't a thing there. But, 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 but it does not make us racist. How? I'll explain. We do not have that problem here. We live in a country where there are almost no black people. Instead, we have many other nations, Asians mostly, and there's no racism in Russia. And there was none for about a hundred years already. Unless you count Stalin and his anti-Semitic purges, but still. And at the same time, in the US, racism is an actual problem. From what I see, it seems to be that way. You know, right now, you sound like me five years ago. I used to be a massive Trump hater, who said he was racist, sexist, homophobic, blah 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 blah. But since I matured, I've mostly just seen him as a useless idiot who doesn't think before he acts. And that's probably more accurate than someone you compare to Hitler. And when your companies are trying to make more black characters, Russians just don't get it. And blame the evil mouse for pushing his agenda in the movies. And Russians calling out the forced diversity is bad because... Look at it as a regional feature. We do not hate anyone for his skin. It just looks like this for you if you don't understand Russia, if you do not live here. And by the way, there will be much less racist looking shit if Disney and many other companies would make new black characters with a good and interesting personality and plot. But instead, those lazy bastards just recolor heroes we know and love. And it looks like an attempt to attack our vision of the world by a hateful foreign ideology. That was my Trump impression and I have Trump fingers too. Oh yeah, I forgot you were gonna talk about Trump. So yes, we hate it, but not because of the black people, but because of laziness of the companies. So that's the end of my video. I hope you understood why Russians love prequels that much. Yeah, well I know I have. And I understand why Mother Russia will not stand for your insolence. That's essentially the end of this video. This was probably the most shallow look at the prequel trilogy so far. And coming from a Russian, that's saying something. You are a heretic. And you will be purged and sent to the gulags. Okay, the gulags are too cruel for anyone, but still. So with that being said, I am JJ Plagiarisms. And until next time, what are stories by mystery boxes?